Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. Look at this. This is a real quick play I'm going to show you. This was the first game I attempted to play. Yes, attempted. And look at this. First play of the game. A nice tip and a pick. And look what happens. He did something on his end to make the game keep freezing and jumping and freezing. And eventually he got kicked. So there it was. So I started another game just so I could get the footage. This time I'm facing off with this guy with the Detroit Lions. And right away, guys, cue the music. You know when I say cue the music, there's going to be something big right there. Ladarius Green, he's going to catch that nice catch. The nice pattern ran. Beats his man off the line. Beats his man in open field. With that kind of speed as a tight end, you're not going to catch him. And we're going to march right into the end zone right away. Hopefully we see that in the real NFL with my Pittsburgh Steelers this year. Nice vertical threat right there, hopefully, for Big Ben Roethlisberger. So, all right, guys, I'm going to come out. I'm going to send a nice blitz right there. We almost get the sack. But no, don't worry about it. You know why? Cue the music again. Cue the music. Artie Burns making himself known, his presence known again. Interception, and I say it again, guys, because in the last game, the last footage I have for you guys, Artie Burns got an interception to seal the game at the end of that one. Hopefully, uh, as well, we see that happen in the real NFL. So anyway, guys, second and 11, and I really couldn't get Todd Gurley going, man. You know, it just seems like he was doing something, you know, on his side as far as defensively with his user control player. And it was stopping the run. You know, he was he was getting in quite often. I did get a nice run right here, guys. Nice spin. Nice juke to the outside. Wish I could have cut up Phil a little sooner, but we'll take the eight. So as you can see, guys, I'm just trying to get the first down right here, and we do. All right, we're going to come out again, first and ten. Trying to run the ball again. There's really nowhere to go. Maybe should have bounced it to the outside on the left side. But it is what it is. And look at this. Look at this. How do you overthrow that? I don't know. But have no fear, guys. Cue the music. Once again, you know I'm going to the money man, Amari Cooper. Doesn't that look familiar? <laughs> same route. Same touchdown that basically happened in the prior game, prior episode. And I'm telling you, man, you know, until people learn how to defend that particular route, I'm going to throw it when times, you know, when it's necessary. And look at that. I thought that may have been pass interference, but they didn't call it. So he's going to try to run the ball here. He runs into a little bit of traffic, and then he breaks out. Right here, I was like, what is going on? Glad he stepped out of bounds because that could have been a big play for him. So he runs to the left side. Nice block right there. He's able to pick up another solid eight yards. And second and two, he's driving. Right here, I'm trying to chase Jameis Wilson. And look! <laughs> once again, once again, guys, we come up with an interception. Didn't really need to cue the music on that one because I didn't know that that was going to be an interception. I thought, you know, his receiver may have gotten the inside position on that one. But, oh, well, we'll take it. So we're going to continue to march, guys. You know, it's the second quarter. I'm just trying to get downfield, find the opening right there, give me a nice catch. First and ten, try to run Todd Gurley again. And look, not, once again, he's shutting it down. I mean, he's doing some great things on the run defense. And I almost made a huge mistake right there. Luckily enough, you know, I'm still able to, you know, keep the drive going. And now third and 14 right here. Really didn't have anywhere else to go. He makes the sideline catch, but, you know, didn't get the first down, so we're going to punt it away. Now, look at this guy. Look at this guy heaving it downfield in triple coverage. <laughs> Nothing doing right there, guys. So here it is, second and ten. He's trying to find somebody, and he finds his man across the middle right there. Great pass, great read, and he's not getting anything done on that run right there. That was a very awkward interaction right there that looked pretty crazy but look at this we're all over the screen game i knew it was coming guys i had people over there Artie burns comes up and makes a nice tackle assist with the tackle at least and of course you know you know how guys in mutt do he's gonna run the same play to the right side but doesn't work now fourth and six and this is big right here guys if i can shut him down and we do you know what that means i can pretty much take control of this game right here so i'm just thinking run the ball get in field goal range but once again Todd Gurley is not being successful I don't know what he's doing but he was doing some funny business a little bit the way he was using controlling his guy but whatever man you know I'm going to just take it light right here get in field goal range nice decent you know field goal as far as uh you know how far out it was we're able to get it so there you have you know there you have it now all right all he's gonna do is run the ball here and he tries to go play action with the second left in the game we're not gonna allow that to happen and you know what's coming next you already know there it is <laughs> 
he quits like they always do. I, I tell you, man, again, I can't wait until I get to the point where I'm facing better competition and guys who are willing to stay in there and finish to the end. But it is what it is. We'll take the win, guys. So like always, leave your thoughts, leave your comments. I promise it won't hurt you to hit that like button. And I'll see you next Monday. Peace. Once again, guys, thanks for coming by. And if you want to interact with me live, head on over to Sim Standard Radio every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, along with Smitty and Azure Effect. The call-in number for the show is down in the description. Now, of course, for more content, go ahead and click the link above. And before you go, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time, lights out.